Marissa B. Grayson and you are watching Blended Family TV where we cut through all the Blended Family bull-ish and help you get from drama to peace and hopefully at some point harmony. And today I'll be sharing my Blended Family answer to a frequently asked question. How do I safely exchange custody of my children with my former abuser? Oftentimes, one parent may be even convicted of domestic violence, but still be granted custody or visitation of their child if the court deems it to be in the children's best interest. There are many different places that you can choose to or be ordered to exchange your children and because of the history of domestic violence between you and the other party, it's important to make sure that you have the best option and the safest option possible. Curbside exchanges are ideal for children who are older and if the other party is not restrained from coming near your home. Curbside exchanges typically look like this. One parent pulls up to the home to either receive or drop off the child to the other parent. The parent in the car remains in the car and the parent who's in the house remains in the house. The child travels from the car to the door of the home or vice versa, gets in and essentially the parent who's driving leaves. Curbside exchanges can minimize the amount of contact between the parties as the child simply has to walk between the house and the car and the parents can both watch at a distance to make sure that the child gets to the other parent safely. Another option for a custody exchange is to do it in a public place. One of my favorite suggestions for exchange locations in a public place is to do the exchange inside the store, in the front of the store. So for example, you know how Target has those dollar deal sections in the very front of pretty much every store? If you and the other parent were to just arrive at the dollar deal section, browse around until the parent who's getting the kid or dropping the kid off arrives, then the child simply goes from one parent to the other in the store and the other parent leaves. This minimizes the exchange and the confrontation and the communication that's in person between the parents and it also gives the child a safe space to feel like they're being exchanged but not as extreme as a police station. For smaller children this works ideally because you know most Targets or Walmart have some kind of store on the inside on these days, such as a McDonald's or another fast food restaurant where you can grab the child some ice cream or even grab them a little toy before every exchange so that they feel like this is their treat time versus feeling like, oh, it's a daunting exchange process between mom and dad because they hate each other. And of course, there's the infamous police station exchanges. I hate police station exchanges. That's just my personal preference. I think that in many cases, parents can exchange the children safely and without drama in one of the other methods that I've suggested. But unfortunately, in some situations, you don't have a choice due to the tumultuous relationship between the parents. So if you're in a situation where you don't feel safe and you feel that there's absolutely no other safe place or safe way that you can exchange your children, then the police station might be your best option. Not only does the police station have lots of cameras and lighting, but of course they also have police just in case you need them. Your children though may feel very uncomfortable doing exchanges at the police station because it's very apparent that we're exchanging at a police station because my parents don't have their stuff together. So if possible, try to pick a neutral location that's not the, the police station if you can. Otherwise, the police station might be your best bet. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.